And it will be a warm one for everyone waking up in Adelaide today. A top of 34 degrees expected on a very big news day. The scenes of panic and chaos in Adelaide as the COVID crisis grips the city. Just look at these queues of people waiting to get tested again yesterday. Hundreds of metres long, those queues. Some waiting 11 hours with more of the same expected today. And it's also turned the focus on the national response. Industry leaders warning the Federation is in danger of falling apart as each state and territory responds differently. It is frustrating. Let's get into it with Northern Territory Senator Mullandiri McCarthy and 2GB and 4BC's Chris Smith. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you. Um, Mullandiri, first of all, to you, now the response of the outbreak um, in Adelaide, it's a huge response with more than 4,000 people already in isolation. Can a second wave be averted? Look, it is really disappointing, uh, no doubt, for people in South Australia, but also for those who've got families in South Australia and we're planning to, to head there as well. And I know here in the Northern Territory, uh, people are quite devastated by what they're seeing down there. But the reality is, Carl, I mean, we only have to look across the seas to the US to know that uh, we do still have a long way to go as a world approach to COVID. And so naturally, if anything, we should actually all be trying to assist uh, South Australians to get through their testing as quickly as possible because those lines uh, that I'm seeing there on your screen uh, are just uh, incredible and no doubt quite frustrating for all those people. It is, it is frustrating, um, and I get that, for, especially from a business point of view. Um, Chris, uh, some states immediately slammed the border shut, others letting in South Australians, um, but with checks. It's surely at some point, given what Mullandiri is saying, and she's 100% right, we're going to be living with this for a long time. Where's the national coordinated response that we need here? Well, it's not existent. The only states and territories on the same page as the Commonwealth medical officers are New South Wales, Victoria and the ACT. They haven't closed down borders. Mm. They've worked out that they'll identify at the border, whether it's from a plane or crossing a border, they'll work out exactly where you come from and they'll do your test. They'll actually see if you've got a temperature, see whether you're carrying the symptoms. That's all that needs mm. to be done. We've got one cluster in a very small area of Adelaide. Um, bear in mind, it's a population of 1.3 million only in Adelaide. You don't need to keep opening and shutting borders. Yeah. I tell you what, I hate to be in a war and, and in a trench with some of these <laughs> territory ministers and, and premiers that run for the hills. <laughs> Look, I have to say this. Look, I got it initially, um, and, and I still do get it, it's partly because of Queensland and the fact that WA have sealed themselves off. And Maldir, I know that you support some of that chief medical um, advice. But for me, living in New South Wales now um, and living with the constant, I guess, threats and updates and the way that contact um, tracing is going here in New South Wales, what happens is it does actually fill you with confidence that the system can work yeah. without shutting down. Malandiri, do we have to now mm -hmm. transition? Do, do the states need to kind of grow up a little bit with this and have confidence in the system? Look, I think it's a, a very, it's all about perspective, isn't it? Uh, both of you are talking from Sydney because, uh, and you're, you're reflecting on your experiences there. I'm, I'm reflecting on my experiences here in the Northern Territory and we felt incredibly proud of the, the leadership here in yeah. terms of the way COVID has been handled, especially, Carl, when we're in, in particular concerned about our communities, uh, 200 Aboriginal communities right across the Territory. And so there is a natural uh, uh, desire until there is a really safe uh, vaccine here uh, to watch closely uh, just how the Northern Territory does deal with it. So, as I said earlier, we are absolutely disappointed. We've got very close relationships with South Australia. We're sort of, you know, families, you know, intermarriage, all of that sort of stuff and, and football, everything. So mm. we, we feel it more so than, say, if New South Wales and other states were closed off to us. So we feel it, but we also know it's the right thing to do for now. Uh, but, okay. Carl, this is an yeah. elimination strategy. That's what they're doing. This yeah. is an elimination strategy. These are single spiking clusters that can be handled with really, really conscientious contact tracing in, in cities I, and areas. I, I don't get it. I, th I think that's true. Let, let's see how South, South Australia handles this. Um, I think all eyes on how they handle it. They've, they've wrapped bubbles around um, the, the most vulnerable parts of the community, which is really good. They've sent the army in to handle some of the contact tracing and some of the testing. The ability to, to go into these states and to handle things quickly is essential in us all moving forward yep. because we don't want to see what's happened in the United States. The 
horses bolted over there. I mean, did you see mm. last night these these terrible scenes from Dodgers Stadium oh, absolutely. yesterday? Absolutely. Like, the yeah. lineups for hours upon hours. But uh, the, the comparison's not right, Carl. I, I know. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying, Chris, that the horses bolted there. However, we don't want to see um, huge outbreaks here, and I don't think we are. So this national malaria, at least this national response, need to, needs to be much more coordinated if it's going to be a long time that we're going to have to live with this. Well, I think it's a, you know I think you asked the question about confidence, Carl, and yeah. uh, and I don't think the confidence is there. I mean, uh, I think if you just ask uh, right. uh, ordinary Australians just how they're feeling, they are, we all know that in the back of our minds, this is the kind of country we're living in at the moment. Yes, we are enormously grateful of where Australia's landed compared mm. to places like the US, uh, but the reality is is that we're still trying to get through this. Yeah. And and I'd like to think that uh, all the energy can actually be put into assisting South Australia to get through this much quicker yeah. uh, so that it can uh, we can open up our borders. Here's a case in point now, with my point about that a confidence issue Mullandiri is that my mum um, was in Yorkies Knob um, in, in far north Queensland which is a small beach north of Cairns. She didn't want not want to come to New South Wales at all for six months. Um, she was she was at pains to point out to me that the Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk was keeping her safe from the COVID and, and Anastasia Palaszczuk has been re-elected based on a lot of that. She's now in New South Wales. She's now driving around the place. She's going to the beach in the morning. She's coming to see all her relatives. She's coming to see the grandkids because she now has confidence in the system. Yeah. Yeah. So, so maybe we'll get there eventually. But, well, but we need but can I just can I yeah. add to that though, Carl? Yeah. And and, I, and it's terrific that your mum does feel that sense of confidence. Mm. Especially our, our elders need to feel that. Agree. But when I, I've been travelling through our domestic airports to get to Canberra, it is like a ghost town. You know, travelling through Sydney Airport. I mean, if you guys are open, that airport is a ghost town. Uh, yeah. There is no traffic around it. So where is the confidence? But that's if because our other states shut their up? borders. That's yeah, because yeah. other states are shutting their borders. But those 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 states are open to New South Wales. It's 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 quiet travelling. It is quiet travelling. It's mm. going to be a slow rebuild. Um, okay, let's talk Origin. Much lighter stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is 52,000 mad screaming Queenslanders at the Cauldron tonight. The biggest COVID crowd event in the world. By the way, if you live in another state, seeing a full and packed stadium at Suncorp Stadium is going to be incredibly damaging <laughs> to your mental health. Um, on the pitch, expect fireworks. Mullandiri, it's been asked this week, state of origin, it's been asked this week, should the biff come back to origin. <laughs> I, I know it's not a great example to the kiddies out there. We've seen Wayne Bennett dancing. That's probably more damaging to kiddies' health than the Biff. Uh, what do you, what oh, do you think, Mandu? Should we bring back Look the Biff? Look, I reckon is Wayne Bennett being, you know, the coach of the century and all, and that Queensland is going to win tonight, Carl. Yeah. But, you know, whatever he says whatever. should go. <laughs> <laughs> Smithy? Listen, Wayne, but your new best friend, Wayne Bennett, I tell you what, here he is saying, I'm going to allow my bloke, T.O., to get in there and yeah. get stuck into Payne Haas. It's a con. It's a total con. He has told T.O., don't, Tino, don't touch anyone. Don't you dare, because I don't want to lose a yeah. player. Haas will be the one, hearing this publicity, who put in the biff. He'll get ten minutes in the sin bin, and Wayne will be sitting up in the box with his arms folded going, <laughs> Joe, well done. You can see what's happening. You were being baited. Do you know what? Do you know what? You're being baited. It's all psychological, it's Carl. Like, it's like going to the buffet. You say, I'm not going to have any of that pork crackle, but you have it anyway. <laughs> this is what's going to happen tonight. It's going to happen tonight. And only 13 hours and nine minutes till kickoff. Everyone stand by. <laughs> <Not counting. laughs> Thanks, guys. Still to come, the biggest right. overhaul of stamp duty in a generation.